Hi, we're running a series of webinars at the minute and each of these focus on a certain area within the product. This week the product manager for DB Clarity Developer did a demonstration where he wanted to show you how to reuse SQL queries. I thought it was a great demo and urge you to actually go and look at the webinar when it's published and in fact sign up for the other webinars. But I thought that I just wanted to show you this piece. What I'm going to do today is redo his demonstration. I'm going to use the sales history schema from the Oracle sample schema and I'm going to create a query and then reuse that query in an insert statement and reuse that in a merge statement. So to start with just to remind you that I can using DB Clarity Developer connect to a schema online and I'm going to use that sales history schema and the only difference here is that I've created an additional channel product sales table and there are no records in that table. And I can query that table by showing the content. There's my select statement and there are no records. Now I have a project called the Sales History Project. And there are very few things defined here. One of the things I do have defined here is an external data format. That's my offline definition of those same tables. This produces a file definition of the tables as they were in the database and I can work with those. So I'm not actually working directly against the database. And I'm going to work, create some SQL rules. I already have a few existing rules there and I'm going to use a procedure. In our next webinar the product manager Tristan will go through those SQL procedures showing you how to create and use, reuse expressions within procedures. What I'd like to do to start off is create a brand new SQL rule and I'm going to call that sales channel. Now I can create a rule by dragging these icons onto the screen so I could select table and drag it on to create a new, a new placeholder for a table but in fact I know which tables I want to work with. I want to work with sales and products and channels. So I'll drag those three tables onto the work surface. Now DB Clarity Developer knows that there is a relationship between these tables. It's defined in the database and when we created those external data formats, those definitions were included. So it knows that the sales and products table are joined on the product ID and it knows the channels table is joined on the channel ID. What I want to do is I would like to uh, get the sum of a number of items sold and the total number sold. So I'm going to do some aggregation. Once the values are aggregated, I will then uh, also want to know to output exactly which columns I'm going to show in my query. Now one of the things that can be handy is putting a sort statement in as well, so you have an order by clause. And I'll join these together. So I'm going to get information from these tables and I'm going to do an aggregation and I'll sort them and then I'll have an output of certain values. So let's have a look at this aggregation first. What I'm interested in is to add in, I'm interested in outputting the information from the uh, channel, so the channel description. I'm also interested in uh, the product category description and I'm also interested in the product category subcategory description. So I'll select those three columns and I can change that alias. This is what's going to be displayed. So let's talk about the channel description, the product category description, and the product subcategory description. So these are the aliases. Now the aggregation that I want to do is I have two things that I would like to aggregate and I can either use the drop list but because I want to create an expression I'm going to use the expression builder. Now these are all helpers with the expression builder so I can look at my aggregation functions. I would like to sum a certain value and let's look at the columns. I'd like to sum the amount sold. So this is the total sold. And for the next, I would like to do the sum again. Only this time, I would like to sum the quantity sold. I 
I think I'll go quantity sold first and then total sales second. Now let's look at what we're going to sort on. I can choose out of those which I want to sort on and I think I'd like to sort on product, dis product category description and then the subcategory. And then in terms of the select statement, what is it that I would like to see output? In fact, all of that information I'd like to see output. So there's my query. Let's have a look at the query. So I'm going to select these values, there's the aggregation, from the, the tables using the joins. I'm going to group because I've got aggregations and there's the order by. And indeed I can execute that query and the information is output to a screen and it's just a query being run against the database. Now the information is being run against the database because I've set that information up. I have settings here, I've said that I want to work against my database server and the schema. So it knows when I execute the query who I'm executing it against. This information is also shown here at the top. Right, so that's just a query. What I'd quite like to do is insert that into a table. So that's what we're going to do and that's what the channel product sales table is. I'm going to insert the, the information from that query into a table which means I'd like to reuse that query. So let's save that and close that query down. And I'm going to create a new rule. And this new rule is inserting that sales product information. And here I'm going to reuse my subquery. This is the subquery we've just created and we're going to reuse that and what we're going to do is we use that to insert into a table. So we'll take the information and pass it straight into a table. And I'm going to use the definition, the external data format definition and the table that we have defined. And the columns that we're going to insert are all the columns that are in the table matched with the columns in the subquery. There's the channel description, there's the category description, there's the subcategory description, this is the quantity sold, and that's the total sales. And if we look at that SQL statement, we're seeing that we're going to insert into the table those columns, and then there is the subquery that we had defined. So indeed I should be able to execute that query and then go to my database and verify that th that information has been inserted, that's the same information that's been inserted into my table. I'd like to create a third query and this third query is a merge statement. So indeed what we would like to do is we'd like to update that table if the if the records already exist, we must update those values, and if they don't exist, we need to insert them. So we're going to go back and create another rule. And this is the merge rule. And in this case, we're going to continue to use that uh, query that we had. And we're going to merge information or records into the channel product sales table. So these two, information from the query and information from the table, are important and we're going to use this match option. So we'll link the query and the table to the match. And we're going to say look at the data. I'm going to use an expression builder again. And we're going to look at the data and say where the channel description matches and the product description matches and the product subcategory matches if those values exist then I need you to do an update if they don't exist I need you to do an insert
Notice here that we're using Venn diagram annotation to say this is where the information overlaps and here's where the information doesn't overlap. So where those values exist, I want to do an update. And where the channel and the product category and the product subcategory exist, just update the total amount and the total quantity sold. And in fact, put total quantity amount, uh, total amount into total sales, and quantity sold into that quantity sold. And in this instance, we're saying select all the columns and use the subquery information for that. So we now have a merge statement that says, using that query, on this condition here, when the values are matched, update. If they're not matched, then do an insert. Now what we do know is I ran an insert, and it inserted a whole set of records. So if we ran this query now, nothing, no difference would happen. So what I want to do is play with the data a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll in fact look at a procedure. This demonstration is not about a procedure. But what we're doing is we're deleting some records and we're updating some records. And I'm just going to execute the query. And we'll go and look at our records, that, at the data. And we see here that I've deleted some rows so that the set of data is much shorter, smaller, and I've updated the total amount and the quantity sold. So what we're wanting to do is we'll run this merge statement, and if the data doesn't exist, we need to update the table by inserting the rows. And if it does exist, then we're just going to update the total quantity, the total amount and the quantity sold. So now we can execute this merge statement, execute the query. And if we go back to our statement here, and refresh that query, we'll see that the data has been inserted or updated depending on the condition. We are running more webinars. We have done some webinars already. They're available online. Do visit the MicroGen website and learn more about the SQL queries and DB Clarity Developer.